this is not the first time that I, ha I have heard people this morning uh, while praying Fajr, some people came to me and said they announced that it was not the right beginning of the month of Muharram and yesterday was not the 10th, rather it is today, whatever. Okay? If the error simply was because those who are in a charge, the authorities, made an error or announced the beginning of the month a day earlier, a day later, then you're not blameworthy. If you do have a chance, like if they say, that, well, today was not actually the 10th, today is still the 9th, then it's in your hand to fast tomorrow. Okay? Well, if you don't fast tomorrow willingly, you did not fast the 10th. But if it is over, you're not blameworthy. You fasted on the day assuming it was the 10th, and you were anticipating the promised word. In the sound hadith, which is collected by Imam Muslim, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, أَحْتَسِبُ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنَّهُ يُكَفْرُ ذُنُوبَ سَنَةٍ مَضِيَةٍ I anticipate and expect from Allah that fasting on the 10th of Muharram will expiate the sins of the past year. You fasted for this reason. Your reward is guaranteed. You're dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we advised in the beginning, the best scenario is to fast the consecutive three days, 9th, 10th, and 11th. Especially nowadays, we have different beginnings of the lunar months, lunar calendar. So it's going to be either the 9th, the 10th, or the 11th. And this way you also practice the sunnah of fasting a day before or a day after. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us